Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection figure review. We've got the latest in the Deluxe Vintage Collection, and it is the Dark Trooper, obviously. You can see it right in front of you. And you would have seen it on the title of the video as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a good one. Um, pick this up from my work, which is Kessel Run Hair and Collectibles. Um, check them out on... Check us out <laughs> on the uh, website. I've got it listed in the description below. And find us on Instagram and all that. So yeah, I was grateful to be able to pick this one up from work. I've been sort of putting it off for a few weeks, just trying to, uh, you know, scrounge a few bucks together for this thing because it's not cheap. Um, most places were retailing at 60 bucks. Um, we had them up for 55 and, uh, yeah, with a little bit of, little bit of staff discount, I was able to, uh, get it for a little bit less than that, which is, which is awesome. So yeah, straight out the packaging, we do have the uh, docking station, I guess, which is nice. It's just sim three simple pieces like that. Both sides come off. And I dare say they are sort of join honorable. I haven't really worked it out. Um, or whether or not they just sit side by side. I feel like they could be, you know, connected. But, uh, yeah, you get another wall slot and just try and put it on the edge. But, yeah, it's hard to tell. But, yeah, also these little hooks, uh, which, you know, they're, they're going to be hard to pull out now. But they're just like a underarm sort of thing for the figure. So, but that's a cool little feature of the, uh, of the figure being a little bit of a bonus. But here we have... A little more light. Now, the problem, you know, I was watching uh, Sci-Fi's review yesterday, and yeah, it is sort of hard to review because it is just, it's all black. All black. But as you can see, the eyes are lighting up because much like the uh, jar was from the uh, Power of the Force, it has the little see-through, little bit of red plastic in the head. You can kind of see it's sculpted in there. <clears throat> which is nice. But in terms of details, the figure's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's really hard to see on camera. But um, you kind of get a feeling of it. I'm personally leaning towards the uh, Black Series one a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. I do love this feature of the, the blaster being able to peg onto the leg. Which is a nice little addition. And again, he's got the two fisted hands. And then comes with one sort of just, you know, blaster holding hand. And also the trigger figure hand. So yeah, that's good for the blaster. Also comes with these flame effects, much like the Black Series one had. Excuse me. And uh, there are separate little pegs in the bottom of the feet for those, which is cool. Um, but yeah, they don't hold in too well. This figure would definitely benefit from a flight stand of some sort, much like the uh, Black Series one. Because once you have the flames in there, there's really not a lot else you can do with it. <laughs> Except... But yeah, no. Um, so if you'd have done it like the Chopper figure or the most recent Marvel Legends uh, War Machine, they do come with like a base that these sort of slot into and it looks like a flame effect taking off. So I feel like that would be really, really good for the figure. But never mind. This one is definitely a nice one. Um, at the price, this is where it stops for me. No need to army build this one. Um, I do have two of the Black Series. Um, I'll tell you what, if it does go on special at some point, if I do manage to find one for a reasonable enough price, um, I may grab a second just to flank Gideon. And with Luke coming out very, very soon from Mandalorian, um, yeah, you may need at least another one to... Uh, try and put up a bit of a fight, but I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see. 
But yeah, it's got all the good articulation, much like the Black Series one. Nice tight joints. It's got all the articulation you could hope for, but um, yeah, I, I know this is a bit of a short review, but being that he's so difficult to sort of see on camera, just with all the reflections and the fact that he's all just solid black, this is definitely one to see in person to get the, the best feel, feel of it. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. This is a nice deluxe set. Lock them all in there so somehow. I haven't worked it out. But yeah, that would make a really cool display if you were going to be buying, you know, 16 of them and lining them all up. I reckon that would be absolutely awesome. But yeah, for now, thank you very much. I do appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll be back with a lighter colours figure next. May the force be with you, everyone. Thank you.